All right, in our last video, we studied Newton's second law of motion, which states that the acceleration of an object is equal to the net force acting on it divided by the mass. So right here in this video, I'm going to show you some examples using this formula. Now remember that our units for acceleration is meters per second squared. For force, it's newtons. And then for mass, it's going to be in kilograms. Okay, so... Acceleration is equal to force divided by the mass. And again, we can write this equation in different ways, okay, because there's three variables, so we can write it in terms of each variable. If we wanted to write it in terms of uh, F, for example, we could say F is equal to M times A. Okay, this little dot just means multiplication. Or you might see it sometimes written just MA. Okay, so when you have two variables next to each other, you know that it's meant to be multiplication. Uh, if we wanted to write it in terms of m, we'd say m is equal to uh, f divided by a. All right, just be aware that this is all the same equation, so if you're, you'll just need to change it depending on what you're solving for. So if you're solving for acceleration, you can use it this way. If you're solving for force, you can just do the mass times the acceleration, and for mass, force over acceleration. All right, but what I'm going to show you is actually a much easier way to help you navigate um, using these equations. And you're going to see this a lot more when we start doing speed, distance, and time problems. But I like to draw, and you can draw this on all your papers till you get familiar with it or to help you out. Okay, So um, put an F here, an M, and an A. Okay, So for force, mass, and acceleration. And the way you use this is you simply... Cover up what you're looking for, and then it'll give you the formula, okay? So, for example, um, let's say we're looking for force, all right? So, if you cover up the F, okay, you see that you have an M and an A next to each other. So, M and A next to each other means multiplication. So, force is equal to mass times acceleration. And that's our formula. If we're looking for force, we simply cover that up. Okay, and it can be it can where it works the other way too. If you're looking for acceleration, we've already learned that acceleration is equal to force over the mass. That's division when you have a number on top of each other. So acceleration is equal to the force divided by the mass, which is the formula that we worked with from the beginning. All right, and then if you're looking for the mass, you simply just cover up the m. That's f over a. So mass is equal to force divided by the acceleration. So draw this little triangle um, on your papers to help you remember so that if you, it just makes it easier for you to figure out what you're looking for, what formula. So let's look at some examples, okay? Now, here we go. All right, so this first example says, how much force is required to accelerate a two kilogram mass at three meters per second? So it says, how much force? So we know, first of all, we're looking for force. All right, wait, let's draw a triangle. Okay, so we've got A, okay. So we're looking for force. So we cover up the force, and we see that force is equal to M next to A. So M times A, M times A, all right. And we're looking for the force. It said that our mass was 2 kilograms, and we're going to multiply that times 3 meters per second squared, and... 3 times 2 is 6, so our force is going to be equal to 6, and it's going to be 6 newtons because force is measured in newtons. All right, let's do a uh, few more examples. Okay, I'm going to redraw my triangle so you can see it a little bit better. All right, this next example says, given a force of 100 newtons and an acceleration of 10 meters per second squared, what is the mass? Okay, so we're looking for the mass, okay? So, mass, we cover up the M because that's what we're looking for, equals F over A, force over acceleration. So, mass is equal to the force divided by the acceleration, okay? It said my force was 100 newtons, and that's going to be divided by my acceleration, which it said was 10 meters per second squared, and I can see that 100 divided by 10, we know, you can cross these out, 10 divided by 1 is going to be 10, 
but it's a, that's we're looking for our mass, and mass is measured in kilograms. So this, the mass of this object would be 10 kilograms. Okay, pretty simple. All right, with a little practice, you'll be getting it in no time. All right, we'll do one more. Okay, it says this one's asking for the acceleration. It says, what is the acceleration of a 10 kilogram mass pushed by a five newton force? Okay, so we're looking for acceleration, so we cover up the A, and we see that acceleration is equal to the force divided by the mass. Okay, acceleration is equal to the force divided by the mass. Okay, and so our force, as it's told us here, was five newtons. And our mass is 10 kilograms. Okay, so our acceleration is going to be 5 divided by 10, all right, and so that is going to be 5 is half of 10, so in terms of a decimal, 1 half would be 0 0.5, all right, and we're looking for acceleration, so it's going to be 0 0.5 meters per second squared. Okay, if you need to work on your division or multiplication skills, uh, go to my other video on long division or multiplication if you need a review. All right, good luck and practice, and practice will make you a lot better at doing these problems.